God for giving me a good voice. I thank God for good teachers. I thank God for giving me the gift of life. I thank God for giving me parents. I'm thankful for, for my good health. When I'm weak, you make me strong. When I'm down, you lift me up. When I'm crying, Lord, you're there to wipe my tears away. When I'm sad, you comfort me. When I'm sick, you make me well. And there's only one thing left just to say. strong when i'm down you lift me up when i'm crying god you're there to wipe my tears away when i'm sad you comfort me when i'm sick you make me well and there's only one thing left just to say Boys and girls, how are you doing this morning? I hope you're all excited and energetic today. I hope you're ready to listen to God's word, yeah? So let's put our hands together, close our eyes, and pray as we begin. Thank you, Jesus, for today. Thank you that you love us so, 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 so much, Lord. And we choose to thank you. And even today, God, as we are getting ready to listen to your word, please teach us your truth. And that's in Jesus' name. And all God's children say amen. I hope you actually got to say amen. My name is Teacher Nemo, and I'm going to be taking us through our lesson today. And our lesson today is about God is loving and just do you know anyone who loves you uh, hmm, i think i have a number of people who love me i know my mom loves me i know jesus loves me tell me tell me who else you think loves you yes probably your brother your sister daddy and everyone so but today we're just going to talk about god who is loving and just i hope you remember what we learned the last 
three weeks ago. If you can remember anything, tell mommy or daddy, tell mommy or daddy anything you remember. It was about, look around, look around, look around. I'm giving you tips, yeah? It's about creation. We learned that God created the heavens, the earth, and everything in it. And the most important and special, special bit of creation was you and I who are made in the image and likeness of God. I hope you, when you look at yourself in the mirror, you see the image and likeness of God and you look at yourself and know that God made you so beautiful. If you're a boy, you look so handsome and if you're a girl, you're so beautiful and pretty. And you know why? Because you were made in the image and likeness of God. And no one should tell you anything less than that because what God says is true. And so even as we continue to learn about the creation and we as human beings being created on the sixth day as God's special bit of creation. And we also know that God rested on the seventh day. So everyone, let's take a deep breath in. Out. In again. Out. So on the seventh day, God rested from all that he had created. And so over time, when Adam and Eve were in the garden, the serpent came in the form of a snake and lied to Eve and told Eve, do you know what? What did God really say? And God had said, do not eat the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden. But the devil made Eve doubt and asked, did God really say that? And so Eve was like, hmm. Maybe, maybe not, but Eve knew God had said no. And so you know what happened? Eve took off the fruit and ate it and gave to, uh, to Adam. That's what we learned last week. And so when that happened, of course, God came looking for Adam and Eve because they realized that they were naked and they were in the bushes trying to hide because they realized they were naked. And so God came into the garden and asked, Adam and Eve, where are you? And so they said, we are hiding, we are hiding. And God asked, why? And they said, because we're naked. And God asked, who told you that? And so, of course, God knew that they had eaten of the fruit that was forbidden. This, this made God so sad. So sad. So everyone make your sad face. Let me see your sad face. Yeah, so this made God really sad. And guess what? God had to punish them and they were asked to actually leave the Garden of Eden. And I can't imagine leaving the Garden of Eden because we are told the Garden of Eden was so beautiful. And so now they had to leave. And of course, God was not so happy. Do you think God was happy to send them out of the Garden? I don't think so because God loves us so much but because God is loving and just he had to do the right thing and you know what's the right thing when you do a mistake it's just punishment and in this case it was them leaving the garden of Eden and of course this also made Adam and Eve very sad also but they had to obey God because they had disobeyed God by eating the fruit and so because God is loving, even after Adam and Eve were out of the garden, God had a plan, okay? So tell your friend God had a plan. Tell mommy or daddy God had a plan, yeah? And so do you know what plan God had? Was to send his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross so that God and you and me and everyone, including Adam and Eve, could be friends again. And you know why? Because God loves you. In as much as God is just and does the right thing, he still loves you even when there is punishment and he always has a plan for you. Do you think that's a good story? I think it's a very good story just to know that God 
wants me and him to be friends again. And that's why he sends Jesus Christ to die on the cross. And we know that Jesus came and that's why all of us are so happy because Jesus came to make us friends with God again. Okay? So boys and girls, even after God had sent Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden, he still really cared for them. And you know why I'd say this? Because the Bible says that God made them clothes made out of skin. Imagine, remember they were hiding because they were naked, but because God cared for them and loves them so much he made clothes for them so they were covered and you know why because the bible tells me so and i believe the bible is god's word yeah so even you just remember that god really cares for you and loves you no matter what you do he still loves you in as much as he may punish you he still loves you okay so make a love heart make a love heart make a love heart yes so show someone, look at someone through the love heart. Yeah, and tell them that God loves them. But sin has to be punished, okay? So God loves you, but sin has to be punished. Okay, boys and girls? Yes. So I hope you're ready for our memory verse today. Yeah, and we're going to read it from Genesis, okay? Get your Bible. I hope you have your Bible. So we're going to read Genesis chapter Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. This is what God's word said. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Let's repeat together slowly. So God created human beings in the image of God. God, he created them, male and female, he created them. Okay, let's say one more time. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, it says, So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them, okay? So are you male or female? I know so. The boys are the males and the girls are the females. So God created male and female. So God created all the boys and the girls and he created them in his own image. So you are perfect, okay? You are the best girl, you are the best boy because God created you in his own image. So boys and girls, I hope you're ready now to color. It's our craft time. If you don't have a craft, that's okay. Ask mommy and daddy to download it from our Nairobi Chapel website and you'll get something to color. Yes. So I hope you get to enjoy your craft as you do it. So now let's pray our hands together, our heads bowed, and let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. That is truth. Thank you for the truth you've taught us today. We bless you and we adore your name. In Jesus' name and all God's children shout. Amen. See you until next time. Bye. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female. So God created human God, he created them, male and female. He created them. 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 Human beings 
27. Hello boys and girls. I hope you had a lovely week. My name is Chabedi and I'm so excited to have you today for our lesson. But before we begin, let's believe and pray. Thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for the opportunity of allowing us to read of your word and to be enlightened of your word. Thank you for this day and bless us even as we uh, want to listen to your word, King of glory. Thank you, Lord, and enlighten us in Jesus' name. Amen. So, boys and girls, last week we learned about how God created the world and everything in it. The birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and the animals that we see around every day, the monkeys, the cats, and the dogs. But this week, you're going to learn about something very interesting. But before we get to that, boys and girls, have you ever made a piece of art or painted a picture? It was so, so beautiful that you just wanted to look at it every day when you wake up. So today, boys and girls, we're going to learn about God's special creation. And they were so special to him that he wanted them to rule over the world, rule over the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and the animals on land. So boys and girls, for us to understand how special these creatures were, let us go to the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Swords up. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. And if you don't have your Bibles, kindly rush and get your Bibles. And let's go to Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. So I'll read Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 27. It says, God said, Now we will make humans, and they will be like us. We will let them rule the fish, the birds, and all other living creatures. So God created humans to be like himself. He made male and female. So boys and girls, we need to look at how God made man. So God went, he took soil, and he modeled. You see the way you model with a, a piece of clay? God modeled, he modeled the hands, he modeled the head, he modeled the feet, and then he made man. But God didn't stop there. He went and breathed into man. He breathed in him his, his breath of life. And man became a living human being. And God placed him in a garden. And the garden is called the Garden of? Yes, you guessed it right, the Garden of Eden. And God placed in the garden many beautiful trees, many beautiful trees full of fruits for man to eat while he was in the garden. But God saw that it was not fit for man to be alone, as we shall see in the Bible. So let's turn to the Bible. Swords up. So Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. Let's turn to the Bible, Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. And this is what it says. The Lord said, It is not good for man to live alone. I need to make a suitable partner for him. That was, that's what the Bible says concerning God looking for a partner for man. Because God had looked at every animal. He brought every animal before man. Man named the animals, but no animal could be found as a perfect partner for man. So God decided that he will make a perfect partner for man. And this is what God did. He made man fall into a deep sleep, very deep, deep sleep. Can you pretend to be sleeping? Deep sleep, deep sleep. And while man was asleep, God took a rib from man and then he used that rib to make a model of another human being who now is called Eve before we had Adam. And God made another human being from man. And now the human being is called Eve. So God made male and female. So God made Adam and Eve. So boys and girls, when God had made Adam fall into a deep sleep, Adam didn't see what God was doing behind the scene. Adam didn't see when God was making woman. So when Adam woke up from the deep sleep, he saw a very beautiful woman. And Adam said, she is like me. She is the bone of my bone. So Adam called her woman. And that's why you get the name woman. So God saw all this and he was pleased and saw that it was good. Then God gave a command. 
that go into the world, be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and rule over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the animals on land. So boys and girls, if you're a boy, know that God made a very handsome boy. And girls, if you're a girl, know that God made a very beautiful lady or a beautiful girl. So boys and girls, today's lesson teaches us that we are very special before God's eyes because we are made in the image and likeness of God. So boys and girls, let us hear the memory verse for today. Psalms chapter 139 verse 14. It says, I praise you because of the wonderful way you created me. Psalms chapter 139 verse 14. Let's do it again. Psalms chapter 139 verse 14. It says, I praise you because of the wonderful way you created me. Psalms chapter 139 verse 14. Boys and girls, wasn't that an amazing lesson of how unique and special we are before God's eyes, created in His image and likeness. But we have some craft to add to that lesson. If you don't have any craft, you can find some craft to download at the Nairobi Chapel website and devotionals to help you study more on this lesson. And that brings us to the end of our lesson today. Let's bow our head and pray. Thank you, Lord, for this uh, lesson today. Thank you for what you've taught us. Even as we go into the week, Lord, may you help us to continue being enlightened by your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Boys and girls, now it's time to say bye. Have a lovely week. See you next time. Bye-bye. Is my commandment that you love one another. This is my commandment that you love one another. Just as I love you. Love.